If we were to leave the EU, wouldn't this be... I mean, some people have said the budget we've just had is good news for Switzerland. Your policy would be good news for Ireland. Uh, my policy would, in fact, I hope, turn the city of London into a Switzerland. Um, it would make it um, a much more sensible place to do business. We would not get the quite insane wave of financial market regulation that is to come. And there's, I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean, we've had 10 years of an avalanche of financial services regulation coming from the EU through the FSA onto the City of London. Nearly all of it has been wholly inappropriate. None of it has helped to stem the crisis in any way at all. And yet the conclusion in Brussels is that we must have more of the same. So I would like to see a City of London, a financial market that was freed of all of that and was was doing what it could to make sure we were part of a global market. Because this is what really annoys me. Mm -hmm. You know, we get told that the European market's terribly important. You mentioned it in a question a few minutes ago, the biggest marketplace in the world. Well, actually, the biggest marketplace in the world is the rest of the world. It's not just what goes on within Europe. Explain to our viewers this. The, the, the raison d'etre of UKIP is to get out of the European Union in the way that of the Scottish Nationalists, it's independence for Scotland. So why should we, the voters, send you to a parliament in Europe which has no say yeah. over whether we stay in or leave the European Union? Well, I've been going there for 10 years now. I can scarcely believe it. Uh, and over the course of those 10 years, I've gone to Brussels and Strasbourg. I've engaged with what's going on. I've done the absolute best I can to find out everything and to report that back in Britain and, and throughout my South East constituency and elsewhere. So whether it's you know, going to the Oxford Union or the local sixth form college, whether it's doing an interview or a debate like this, whatever it is, I've tried for 10 years. Because I've had a seat over there, I've had a voice back here. And I judge our success by this. I think without UKIP, you would not now have a majority of people who think that coming out of political union is a respectable mainstream thing to think. I think we've done it very, very successfully. And it's not that unusual. After all, Alex Salmond has been sitting in Westminster since 1987 and has been highly effective back in Scotland. But wouldn't a position of principle for someone that holds your views be to say, I'm not going to take, like Sinn Féin, and I say it only in this regard, like Sinn Féin and Westminster, I'm not going to take my seat in this well, parliament. We could have done that, and in the early days of UKIP, we did debate that, and we talked about what was the right position, and we decided at an EGM of the party in 1998 that we would engage, and we'd use that opportunity to have a voice back in Britain, and I think it's been tremendously successful. I mean, one of the reasons I get invited to go and speak to groups of businessmen for dinners is they really want to know how do these regulations that impact upon them, how do they actually get made? And what we'd had before UKIP emerged, for 25 years, we'd been sending elected representatives, MEPs, across to Brussels and Strasbourg, and virtually nobody in Britain knew who any of them were or what they actually did. And I think we've done something to turn that round. If you don't meet your benchmark in the June elections, what next for Nigel Farage? I would have to say, would have to say. I mean, frankly, I haven't had time to think about that. I am so busy and I'm so committed to making this campaign work, to making sure we get a proper debate out there in this country over the course of the next six weeks, but I simply haven't thought about it. Someone told me you might want to be a TV presenter. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, anything, frankly, um, just to help me earn a bit more money. There is this myth that politicians earn a fortune. Well, I have to say uh, that if you do it honestly and if you don't break the rules, um, it isn't that highly paid job. Now, Jafaraj, thank you for being on thank Straight you. Talk, in which there is no vacancy. Thank you. <laughs>